We're here with Tina Horn. Tina, you're part of a very interesting project. Please, could you tell us a little bit about what uh, you set up a few years ago and uh, what this is all about? Well, first of all, I didn't set it up. Mm. Uh, it actually has existed now for 12 years. Sat oh. Sataranga is a cultural association that was started by Hartmut Usabel, a, a, a German who's lived in Sarago for 50 years. Uh, and I took it over from him. Mm -hmm. uh, but he, he was a, he's an artist and he used it very much as his own art space. And now we're much more a cultural center with a lot of activities. And uh, the activities have just grown and grown and grown because in this part of Mallorca there really isn't very much going on. There's restaurants in the port, but there's no cinemas, there's no mm. theaters. Uh, it's, it's very it's difficult to do cultural events. So this old chicken farm, which is, used to have 8,000 chickens here uh, mm. 20 years ago, um, has been turned into a cultural center. And we have a little theater, we have two galleries, we have a big bar with an events hall, and we have 12 artist studios where artists come to work every day. And there are sculptors and painters and mm. all kinds of guitar makers and yeah. all kinds of people who work here. Um, so it's a very lively centre and there's a lot of people who love the arts who come frequently. And um, we, have, we do a lot of concerts, everything from rock and blues through world music to classical music. We have the DSO, the German Symphony Orchestra, who sends us a chamber uh, orchestra once a month in, in between May and October. Uh, tomorrow we have a, a wonderful quintet of trumpets playing here yeah, uh, and all of this ties in very well with the restaurant because uh, we started the restaurant um, to be able to have something which gave really food of quality in an ambiance which is artistic where we can have events, we can have music uh, and also we can have wonderful cuisine um, because when we do big events we do things sometimes for two or three hundred people uh, we do things like La Noche Cubana, mm. uh, with lots of mojitos and black beans and rice, etc. But, but we also that. wanted a restaurant that would have uh, uh, alta cocina. Mm. And we're very pleased uh, with our cook, uh, who, who has been a great success with our guests, makes delicious food. And now that the warm season is beginning, there will be tapas at the bar, there will be bar de copas with uh, very good tapas. Um, and in our little stage over there, we have music most nights. Mm. Um, a singer, a jazz trio, it changes. There's many, many different things that happen here. But we find that the symbiosis between the restaurant and the cultural center works very well. So the restaurant is called Limon. The restaurant is called Limon I Cello. I cello. Uh, <laughs> very nice. Uh, because we have a lot of limones, <laughs> and we often have cellos as well. And yes. also because we have so many lemons and oranges and other fruit, we make a lot of our own products. And mm. one of the products we make is Limoncello, which oh, right. is much uh, loved by the people here from our own uh, organic lemons. Yeah. Um, so that's how the name arose. And these and these roses. And the roses I mean, come from our flowers. rose garden. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and what people love to do when they come to the restaurant is where they give their order and they have 10 minutes or so or 20 minutes to wait. They'll go to visit the gallery, walk around the rose garden, etc. There's always something to see here. Well, it's a beautiful garden, and uh, Tina, thank you very much for sharing that with us. Okay, thank you.